Speaking of him a few minutes ago, being from Louisiana when Akeem was born. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense to me that you'd like that. <laughs> oh, good, good for Jake Roberts. Of course. Jake Roberts has always got some really deep, uh, sometimes disturbing promos. You know, I, we, when you mentioned Dusty before, and no, we haven't really talked much about Dusty. I was going to say a kind of obscure storyline with Dusty that really jumps out to me was, uh, I think it was the setup, excuse me, for a Fall Brawl War Games in the mid 90s. Him and a nasty, him and a nasty boy. Yeah, where he had to cut that promo with Dustin there about neglecting him as a kid. You remember that? <laughs> I remember watching it live on WCW Saturday Night. Me too. It's always stuck with me. That is a thing to this day has stuck with me. CM Punk, see, Punk's gonna bring up this, like CM Punk promos and like those are all great, but to me, it doesn't stand out only because I remember this shit from when I was a kid. There's a huge difference. I'm like remembering it like. Oh, a couple years ago. Those would probably be iconic when you're in this position, Plug. I don't know. I think so. Some of those, I mean, honestly, the fucking the pipe bomb promo completely fucking changed a whole lot of shit in the way the fucking business is going. Did it? Absolutely. I don't think it's much different than it was then. Uh, no, it kind of is, dude. What's the way different they, about it? The way they handle shows, the way they do different things, mm -hmm. characters, all that. Mm. <coughs> So before I die here, so I really feel like I'm going to die, check us out, warsofwrestling.com. Check us out on YouTube, WOW TV Live. You can find me, King of Chaos NYC, on all social media. I'll be in uh, oh, Massachusetts this weekend for PVP. So you can check me out there if you're a New England fan. Uh, anything else for you to say, boss man? Go fuck yourself. Yeah, I do got something to say. Go for it. Well... We got some nice shit coming up. About that. Uh, uh, Go for it. Ha, ha, we got ha, Teddy ha, ha, ha. versus Homicide. Ha, 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 ha. When we turn back to Staten Island. <clears throat> we got the Rock and Roll Express coming into town in action. Uh, and signing autographs and taking pictures. Courtesy of uh, Eric Sims and ESS. ESS. Um, now in July, oh, yes. I'm not going to announce what the match is, but we kind of put together a first time kind of dream tag team match. Make it a left of us for you. And, uh, hey, if you guys could guess it, maybe I'll give away with two, two free tickets. We'll see. Maybe we'll do a contest. Gonna check that out. And also, LDN Wrestling coming to the United States on April 20th in Staten Island. All you Staten Island fans should come on down and be there, considering that we will be in Brooklyn on April 14th. I will not be. It'll be the first Warriors of Wrestling show that I, I've ever missed well, in peace. fucking 10 years, because I will be in England uh, performing for LDN Wrestling over in the UK. So, UK fans, I'm pretty sure you're not watching, but you should be. Check us out April 20th in Staten Island. For the boss man and myself, take care, guys.